Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I am out at Beaks Bite in Granite Bay. Today I'm exploring, scouting, looking for new areas to get some photography. Okay, so now I have my tripod set up, my real camera set up, my Panasonic Lumix G9. And when I look through the viewfinder, you can see it. I think it looks pretty good. It's a good shot with the trees all spread out, the limbs all spread out, and the rocks behind it. And the sun coming in from the left side. No sooner am I around the corner, and guess what? I find my next composition. This clump of rocks on the left, a big one on the right, and a bunch of weeds in the middle. Kind of looked like, looks like the weeds are growing out of the center of the rock. So let's see what we can find here. another one I like. We'll see if I like it when I get back in the studio, but out here I like that it has these trees going over like this, two of them, and then another one going up and branching out, and with the other limbs, and then back behind there's all these other smaller trees, let me zoom in a little bit and you can see them better, that are kind of spreading out and like their arms are wide open. So, and then there's some rocks over here, which looks pretty cool. Kind of counterbalances the clump of trees over here. For this next composition, it's a little bit tricky because it's a lot of uh, bicyclers. Is that how you say it? Bicyclists? Bicyclers? Coming through this trail, but I like this tree on the left because it's got these limbs kind of pointing off up and to the left. There's two trees on the right that go straight up. And then on the trail, there's all these roots sticking up. I think that makes a pretty cool composition. And then the sun is kind of backlighting everything. And the tree on the left has a lot of moss on it that makes it kind of cool. All right. Here's a cool subject. This is a gnarly tree. It goes up about, I don't know, 10 feet and then branches off into a couple huge branches. And then it's got all these gnarly branches that just kind of go every which way. But they're pretty thick, so it's not like a Halloween scary tree. Just kind of like a cool gnarly tree, so. like this tree back there with the lit up branches. It has several branches that are dead, reaching out to the side, kind of like it wants to hug you. But it's behind all these other branches, so it's kind of hard to see. But right now, while the sun has those branches lit up, it's easy to see. Kind of like in real life where someone is just looking to hug someone 
but they can't be seen because they're in a crowded area and nobody sees their arms open because they're behind everybody else. Oh, that's deep. Talk about a gnarly tree. Now this isn't the tree that's gnarly. It's this vine in bush or whatever it is in front of it. Let's see if I can get to better light. Yeah. Look at this. It's around the base a little bit. And it just goes up. And that's a gnarly one. I got a vertical shot of that. I'll show it to you right now. This is kind of cool. There's that tree that's really spread out. It's got lots of leaves on it yet. Backlit by the sun. It's kind of a curve there in the bike trail. Yeah, let's get this one. All right, now I have the sun right where I want it. Right behind that tree limb. How many animals, how many faces, how many things do you see in this tree? Well, let me take a picture and you can see it and take a snapshot and see how many you can count. <laughs> 